Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, I'm Adam Bjarnson. My next guest says that small reactors are representing the future of nuclear power, and here to talk about that is Dr. Katherine Higley. She leads the Department of Nuclear Engineering and Radiation Health Physics at Oregon State University. Welcome. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's talk about, first of all, the department at Oregon State. Uh, might not be as well known as others, but it is certainly on the upswing for nuclear engineering. It is a nationally ranked program in, in nuclear engineering. We also have a radiation safety program, and we also have a program in uh, medical physics, which is the application of radiation in, in medicine, joint with Oregon Health Sciences University. We are small. We're only about 12 faculty. We have about 350 students, so we are um, actually quite large in the number of students that we have. And talk about uh, what the students are doing now. Uh, Oregon has got a new startup company, we know that, with, uh, with New Scale Power, right? That's correct. And the interesting thing about New Scale Power is it was started as a, as a DOE-funded grant to investigate the use of the potential for small reactors, small modular reactors, to provide power in areas where uh, the infrastructure, the grid, was not very big or, or non-existent. And so there was this grant, uh, and Dr. Jose Reyes did the work, proved the possibility of this design, and then the DOE said, thank you, that's, that's very nice, mm -hmm. and we don't have any further interest. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Reyes thought about that for a while and said, you know, I think there's a commercial application. And in conjunction with the university, um, he went through and established New Scale Power is a, a small startup company, and New Scale has now just won a $425 million grant from the Department of Energy to go through the licensing process for New Scale's small modular reactor design. It's really exciting for us because the students on campus are helping work with New Scale. We have the prototype on campus, so the students are getting an incredible real world experience on uh, developing this design and taking it through licensing and commercialization. You hear the word nuclear, a lot of hands come up right away. Uh, but talk about the safety and how things have improved in, in regards to nuclear engineering. So Oregon State University has actually been involved in a number of studies on the safety of uh, new nuclear designs. And we went through the uh, commercialization process for Westinghouse design, which was a, a passively uh, safe reactor design. That design has now been bought by China and we actually spent a year training several Chinese scholars on the, on the merits and the application of, the, of that particular system. Uh, the new designs are, are much simpler in, in many regards regarding uh, pumping and pumps and piping and, and such and they're designed such that in the event of an accident no intervention by uh, people are required for a very prolonged period of time. The, the small modular reactor design that uh, New Scale has is extremely safe because it's an underground pool type system, so there's very little above ground mm -hmm. uh, area for, for impact, and it's more robust. Where are we in 10 to 15 years with uh, nuclear? I think that the accident in Fukushima set us back uh, a few years, certainly, because prior to Fukushima there was this tremendous interest in having many more reactors in the United States. Complicating that, there's a lot of uh, natural gas out there right now that is quite cheap, and so from an economic standpoint, at the moment, nuclear is um, not as competitive as natural gas. Now, at some point, that dynamic is going to change, and we'll see nuclear coming back because it has a low uh, greenhouse gas emission footprint. Um, the small modular reactors also can go into a number of, of markets where big power plants weren't really commercially viable. So we see it as, as uh, very positive in the long term. Dr. Katherine Hickley, thank you so much for your time. Do appreciate it. That's going to do it for us here at Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Adam Bjarnson from the Ocean Observing Center at Oregon State University. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.